in AC2, we are really going to take you on a journey that's going to lead to an incredible revelation. And, you know, the animus in AC2 is much deeper than it appears. The Animus, again, is the device that allows Desmond to access the memories of his ancestors, so people like Altair and Ezio. But in AC2, it's also you know, a database that helps you understand like, whatever you need about the world right at that moment. So it's smart and streamlined. It won't be about fixed menus. It's much more dynamic than that. And um, you're going to see that the, the graphics are moving. And in some cases, we're taking some risks because we are breaking a few design rules and um, uh, mixing up the menus when you're not supposed to typically do that. Basically, if you're in front of any of the notorious landmarks in the game, or you're in front of any of the characters in the game, or you're, you know, in special kind of, um, I guess you could say, events in the game too, you will receive a small discrete pop-up that allows you to access the database and find out um, history about it, find out, you know, kind of go in more depth into what's going on. It's leading you, and on the other hand, it's also trying to punctuate moments. I'll give you anything you want. <laughs> So our objective was um, to seamlessly merge this very slick, high-tech looking graphic design with a rich, beautiful, historical um, 3D world. Early on in the story, uh, the player will be uh, gain access to the assassin stronghold. Uh, basically, it's going to be the house of the assassin where he lives. Uh, and. At first, it's going to be in ruins. And so you have this kind of decrepit village, and you have the villa, which is coming overgrown. And, and basically, you know, Ezio has an opportunity, if he wants, to take care of whatever you want in there. As you upgrade and, like, make the town better, the town will be earning more money for you. Villas were one of the characteristic architectural styles of the Renaissance. Because families lived so close together in these tight little cities, um, almost all of them would purchase land outside in the country and then build a country house uh, to go to on retreat, whether it was for weekends or for the summer to get out of the heat of the city. Among other things, the villa will be used to store, if we will, kind of a repository of all the assassin's possessions. So anything he's going to have gathered through the economic system will all end up at the villa. It's a large place, it's got a library, it's got a lot of relics, you know, a lot of family relics, and by exploring the place and interacting with the people that live there, they'll be able to gain insight into the auditory family. Much more than Assassin's Creed 1, Assassin's Creed 2 is like this gigantic world that's cities within cities within cities. I think what's wonderful about the game is that you just are in the city as it was in the 1470s or 1480s and, and the research that's gone into reconstructing the, the city at that particular historical moment looks just terrific to me. It's indeed a very massive project on all fronts. It's an epic game, that's for sure. People are going to be amazed. The incredible scope of this project is really going to blow players away.